Hey guys, it's Wednesday, the best day of the week, and this is not my, my usual thing, but I received an email that really just got me here, and so I want to, I want to talk about it with you. Okay, so a few days ago I got this email from this guy, and I think that the, the content of this email reflects how a lot of people feel about their, their English and their English learning experience. Okay, so in the email, the guy says that he's 51 years old and he says he's giving up with English. He's had enough because he doesn't understand why he's not capable of learning English. He says, I've been studying English for all these years and recently I went on holiday to Morocco and there were all of these local Moroccan people who never studied, who never went to English class and they have, they have this great fluent English. What's wrong with me? Why can't I do that? But here's the thing. Um, he, he sent me the email in Spanish, okay? And there's one, there's one line that I want to read to you. He says, Podría escribir esto en inglés, al menos intentarlo, pero me rindo. Basically, what he says is, I could have written this email in English, or at least tried to write it in English, but I give up, I surrender. And I replied to him and I said, that is the reason that you are not fluent, because you didn't try. And to kind of, to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about, I want to tell you a little story, okay? So this is not my story. This is a, a famous uh, story from the world of Zen teaching. It's a Zen koan. Um, so, one day there's a guy and he's walking through the jungle and suddenly a tiger appears in the jungle in front of him. <laughs> so he runs, of course he runs and the tiger is right behind him, okay? Scratching and biting at his heels. And then in the distance he sees a cliff, okay? A precipice. And so he's running and he jumps off the precipice and he grabs a vine that's hanging from a tree above. So here he is hanging on the vine. Just here on the, on the cliff above him is a tiger rah, trying to get him. And he thinks, oh, well, at least for the moment I'm safe. And then he looks up and he sees two little mice eating the vine and he knows that soon he will fall and die. So he looks over at the side of the cliff and he sees some wild strawberries and he picks a wild strawberry and eats it and he thinks to himself, how delicious is this strawberry. <laughs> now, these, these stories from Zen, you know, have multiple interpretations. Okay, and now I'm not saying my interpretation is correct, but I think it's, it's probable that this little story tells the story of how to live a good life, right? We're all running away from our past. Maybe in a literal sense, maybe in a metaphorical sense, you know, maybe the past is good, the past is bad, the past is behind us. And here we are in the moment, hanging on to this, to this vine and death is coming. Death is coming to us all. There's no escaping it. So here's the question for you. Are you going to pick the strawberry and enjoy the moment or 
are you just going to die with with fear having not enjoyed what's around you <laughs> now now maybe that seems kind of a bit abstract but this directly relates to to this email so here's somebody maybe like you who has a bad relationship with English learning in the past. Maybe you've had a great teacher, an English teacher, great teacher. Maybe you've had great experiences in English class. Good. It doesn't matter. It's behind you. Right? Now, here you are on this vine, right? Death is coming. Are you going to use your English to do things? Are you going to at least try? Or are you just going to let your life pass you by without ever appreciating the gift of the skills that you have right now? Because I know that if you have enough English to understand me, to understand this video, then your English is good enough to jump into a conversation. It's good enough to take advantage of all of your hard work that you've put in. It's good enough to enjoy the, the magical thing that we have called language, where I can make these funny noises with my mouth and I can transmit ideas into your head through the air. That's magic. And to not take advantage of that, to not pick that strawberry, I think is, is, is a real waste. A real waste. So, so eat the strawberry. Enjoy the moment. Don't let your life pass you by without, without taking advantage. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to my uh, Zen Hour with Christian. <laughs> and this is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class. <laughs>